Gamers, welcome back. I'm Robo. I'm a Grandmaster Ranked Player at the game of Risk Global Domination. And today, as you can see, we are Dexter the Diamond Hunter. And we are going to be trying one of the most difficult challenges on Trigon's Labyrinth. And we're going to be going after the Robo Diamond. You guys need to go and check out my previous videos on Trigon's Labyrinth. They are all bangers. And in the most recent one, I talked about a challenge that I would really like to try and do, which is to grab... Trigon's maze and ice maze look at that diamond in the center of the board and I will explain why it is so why it is such a difficult challenge in a moment right off the bat I do see some potential here okay I see potential um we have this section cut off this section basically cut off to where people should leave us alone we have this section cut off wow these are some really weird blizzards dude these blizzards are insanity um what we need to do is at least make a pseudo blizzard out of this though that is a pseudo blizzard. And uh, oh my goodness gracious, how do we make this happen? So if you're unfamiliar with how Trigon's games typically go, there's typically two wars going on. There's a war for the left side of the board right here uh, in this area. And then there's a war for the right side of the board right here in this area. Um, it does vary depending on the game, of course. But what we want to do is we actually want to do it like this. We're going to try to hold this little diamond right here. So can Dexter, the diamond hunter, pull it off? Um, with these blizzards, I think it might be likely, but there is an issue, right? Because once these wars are done, and once somebody is snowballing and they hold one of these sides of the board, they have to push through you, the diamond hunter, or me in this case. We're going for the robo diamond. I don't think it's been done. If it has been done, I apologize. I've just missed that. Uh, I looked through some of the Trigon's videos on YouTube to see if it has been done. And it seems like such an interesting challenge. Um, I have had banger games where I hold the whole right side and games where I hold the whole left side, but never never the center. Do I have an easy turn one bonus in any of those spots? Hmm. You know what we could do? Our seven is good for now. Considering that, and I don't think we do have an easy take right here into this or this. Maybe we could just take this plus four because it's just three territories I have to go through. I only have five troops, so I don't really have a good take into that. You know what? Never mind. Change of plans. We are just going to work on the diamond from this side and at least secure this area. So that way pink leaves us alone and doesn't get any bright ideas. And then once... Oh, we do see the red cap right there. Very interesting. Okay. So red is also going for a diamond. And that also makes another pseudo blizzard right there. Very interesting. Let's bring this two up and over here. Okay, so we should have no problems clearing out this little baby diamond for the, the troll diamond. Frost troll, ice cave, blue fire, floating blades. Um, red will make this very interesting for us though. Let's hope that red does not go up and smack this five. It's very aggressive what I just did to the red player there. And we're, we're showing a lot of aggression without having a bonus. So uh, red is going to make that like a 12 or something, right? And then... They either blast through or they go down and do something else. Who knows? Um, let's begin writing some things down on the board. I hope everyone is doing well today, by the way. Um, now, blue is clearly in the ghostly plateau. I believe we saw black or pink over here in the crystal gardens, right? Um, you know, whenever I record games, I'm going to put crystal gardens... Crystal Gardens, question mark. Uh, whenever I record games, my uh, turn one is usually pretty poor because I get to talk into the camera and laying the foundation and then I, you know, I'm not fully in the game turn one, but we're going to come back and grab this diamond. And if you're seeing it on YouTube, if this video is on YouTube, it might be legendary, folks. So, oh my goodness, can Dexter the Diamond Hunter get it done? Um, I've been really enjoying these settings. Highly recommend them. Super, super highly recommend them. And let's get into the players, folks. In the first position, we have the black player, Xander Yar Yayara Man from the United States. In the second position, we have your boy, Robo, a.k.a. Dexter the Diamond Hunter, Grandmaster at Hunting Diamonds. In the third position, we have the pink player from Spain, General the Boar. Uh, in the fourth position, we have the blue player, General Apod AA14024 uh, from Switzerland. In the fifth position, we have the green player, Dallas Towney from the United States. And in the final position, we have the red player from good old Canada, General Takagi. 18961. Okay, red seems to be okay with leaving us alone. I think I actually will smack red now. Bit of a hot take. That's a bit of a hot take. Uh, but I think I do want to do that. Um, it's a really bad roll, actually. 
Is it like a 70% roll? It's like, like not that good. Um, it's called the game of risk, folks. That's what it's called. Oh, we get the coin flip into God dies. I'll be taking that. I'll be taking that from you, Red. Uh, good game. Good game, well played. It's called the game of risk. Should have factored in that Robo was in your game. Uh, sounds like a skill issue to me if you couldn't factor that in. Okay. Uh, alrighty, so... Now that we have pushed right out of the game and the red player should be a bot any moment. Yes. Okay. Love that. Look, bullying players out of the game in the first two turns brings joy to my heart. So that, that is now that is now checked off the list here, folks. Um, rolling caps. Man, it's actually crazy. Like, I, I wish that the, that, the, that the cap logic would work the same for a very low cap as it does for a cap that's like 100 troops. Do you know what I mean? I've just found that when your cap is under 10 troops... Specifically when it's under like seven troops, it is so volatile, like it is so much easier to roll it. And I see a high success rate from players that attempt it in the first couple of turns versus, you know, if I see somebody try to roll a 100 cap with 150 troops, like it, it usually fails. Um, so yeah, they just seem, it seems a lot more stable. Also, if I touch my face, you see me wiggle my face, Central United States, spring is a bloomin' and it is uh, very difficult to be to have allergies uh, at this time. So yes. Okay, now, the OCD in me would really appreciate if green could hit this one right here. I would love that. But I don't want to incentivize who, I don't want to incentivize green to do that and then, you know, they want to try and clear this out or maybe they're in the ghostly plateau then they want to do a little wrap around and hold um, Madman's Maze. But if I could get a clean looking diamond, I would absolutely love it. I would love it. Um, if not, it's okay. I will take it. But uh, we have our work cut out for us today, folks, because we have... This is a two-point hold. We need a stack on Heavy Gate. We need a stack on Cold Passage. We need a stack on... And that's pretty much it, right? Because now we have two caps, which plugs up these holes. So it's actually looking pretty likely. It's looking pretty likely that we can, you know, accomplish this challenge. We just have to make sure that we get it done before one of these players snowballs, which is inevitable. Um, and right now it's looking like black, correct? Maybe? We'll see. Okay, so now things change a little bit here. That just needs to be a seven. I'm gonna try and clear out this pocket now. I lose a troop and I get God dice. Okay, two sevens. Two sevens and we're on our way to our diamond. Look at it, we have a half diamond. Oh my God, look at it. It's so gorgeous. It is so unbelievably beautiful. All these other players are worried about the other honeypots on the map. Fools! Absolute fools! Not going for the diamond. Um, oh my goodness. What an interesting challenge. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I conquered the left side, I conquered the right side, and I was like, what's left? And I noticed this cheeky little plus 14. No one would expect it, you know, if you think about it. If you clear out void halls, void stone, crystal garden, what is that? That's like 14, that's like 17? I mean, you hold the center of the board, you're getting 14. People are like, wait, where's the white player? They just expect you to be over there. No, no, I'm in the middle of the board. So yeah, this is going to be interesting for sure. Um, whoever clears out the right side of the board is just going to pick one of these caps to push through and, it's, and I'm going to be crying. So it is what it is. Um, yeah. You know, alternatively, once we're done with the diamond, maybe we could try to do... Oh, yes. Oh, no, dang it. Oh, why couldn't you do it? My perfect diamond is ruined. Um, alternatively, though, maybe the Giga Triangle could be another good challenge. Shadow Maze, Trigon's Maze, Madman's Maze, and Ice Maze. What is that? That's uh, 14, 21, 27. Plus 27 to split the board in half. Dude, you have so many holes to plug up if you do that, though. You've got how many? In, in a world where there's no blizzards, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yikes. And then, and then obviously everybody in the lobby just teams up against you, right? Um, okay. So it seems like green and red are just leaving us alone. So uh, let's just go for it, folks. Let's see if we can do it. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. Oh, shit. I hate, dude. Sometimes I hate the slider. Move that up. Okay, now we have a cheeky little... Oh, dude, look at it. It's happening. Ooh, we got a plus seven. It's happening, folks. Oh, can we get it done? I've coined it the Robo Diamond. I don't expect it to stick. Look, it is what it is. Uh, but uh, 
Yes, the Robo Diamond is what we are going for here today. Let's keep an eye on what everybody else is starting with. So, pink starting with nine is, con is concerning for sure. Um, that could mean that pink has this plus three. So, Void Stone, I'm actually feeling pretty good about that. Um, because that could be your five from holding your cap, the plus three from Void Stone, and then the territory bonus. Or, it could be that you have Soul Stone, which actually I do see a pink one over there. Maybe that's more likely. Um, hmm, not sure. It'd be either or. At this point, I wish I, I was paying a little bit more attention near the start of the game where we were going to identify where big stacks poked out at because now I can't remember if it was black or pink that we saw over here in the Crystal Gardens. Green, though, feeling pretty good about green being over in uh, Soul Halls. Yeah, feeling really good about that. Um, do you actually roll me? No, you're a bot. That's right. Okay, so... Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let's just hope that the, the bot leaves that one alone. Leave me alone, bot. Okay, now does black hit this over here? Where do you take a card, black? I never in my life would take the baby set. Um, let's see. 6, 8, 12. Yeah, in a worst case scenario, I still just get 15, which probably doesn't happen. So I'm going to wait a little bit. I have no reason. No reason to get crazy. That four there is fine. The bot can't set. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. Hold on. I just need that. So I'm actually going to do this instead. I have nine. Pop, pop. Oh, dude, I'm going to make these fives. Wait, it's happening. Oh my god, it's happening. Oh my god, we have done it. Oh my god. And then just because green was looking at me funny? Yeah, you shouldn't look at me funny! Okay. Wow. Is there anything that's like useless? No, but yeah, that's fine. You guys, oh my god, it's just the start. We need to beef it up, but look. Look at what we've done. Oh my god. The Robo Diamond. Okay, now can we hold? Can we hold, folks? Can we hold? Alright, now this is step one, okay? Step one, done. Uh, we've plugged up all the holes. We've got decent guards. The blizzards are helpful. Well, one blizzard is helpful, I guess. Um, now, does pink just have this entire thing now? You're starting with 10 now. Yeah, I think pink's got the whole thing now, right? Shit. So pink probably pushes through me really soon. Now we've got to come out with the win. Now that we have the diamond. Our defensive hold is not enough. We need more. It might mean that we need to go to war with pink. I think that's what that means. Um, shit. Yeah, pink fortified up here. Pink might have their cap up in like red door or something. We'll have to see. Pink sets after me. I'm just gonna set in. Let, let's 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 uh, let's put a bunch of troops against pink. Not attack pink, but uh, wait, are you a bot? No. Let's get a roll call here. Okay, it's just red. That's a bot. Let's see if pink can deal with green first. Bot stacking against me. Nice. It's fantastic. Okay, and then the bot, yeah, okay, nice, 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 nice. Maybe, okay, the bot's gonna take a card. I kill the bot pretty soon. Uh, maybe on the next turn I could kill the bot with my kill guard right here. The bot should just be on the right side of the board. Unless we see blue set and come out swinging. Uh, oh my god, look at that, dude. I've never seen... Tw dude, starting with 23 troops and everyone is confused. They're like, from where? You know? Oh, dude, I love it. This is incredible, man. This is, uh, this is what dreams are made of. Make that tens. Uh... Oh, yeah, I have to set. I'm an idiot. Okay, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to put these back into the deck. That way I have a chance of getting that back. to get a set next turn. 
Um. And then, you know what, dude? I am actually going to break here because I want to see what's up with pink. Okay, pink's doing literally nothing. I don't want to open that up, though. Or do I? Oh, there you are. There you are, pink. Now pink sets and then what? Maybe they smack me? Probably what I would do. They're going to have like a 30, right? No, where, where, where did you go with that? Are you trying to kill green? You are not going to fortify much back onto your cap there, pink. Maybe I can kill pink next turn. No, I can't. Okay. Okay. Well, actually, no, I can because blue sets and blue, what we were saying was on the right side of the board, I think, was what we were seeing. I mean, dude, if I'm starting with 23 troops again, I'm just going to swing your cap, I think, just because it's funny. Ooh, hello there. Now, this is where the challenge gets difficult. Because now I'm going to have to deal with blue and pink. How dare you remove my diamond? How dare you? So you know what? Pink has to deal with green on their side of the board. Maybe I go to war with blue instead. See, this is where it gets messy. This is where it gets really messy. Yeah, things get messy here. Um, hmm. No set on three. I kill the bot. And then attack blue. Kill bot, set, put everything right here, attack both sides of the board at once. That's the only way to play as the diamond player, I fear. And then black is up here, right? Black has to be in the crystal gardens. So black and green and pink are all over here. I think I, think I understand. Yeah, I understand now. I understand. We should see all seven go on that five and smack my five. Or go on that one and smack my five. This will be really good information. Okay, maybe they're behind this black one? Really? Oh, okay, nice. Didn't clear the bot out of here. I still kill the bot. Cool. I still kill the bot. Perfect. Okay, black is a non-factor to me, pretty much. Um, if somebody tries to clear black out of here, though, we're still totally fine. I don't want to see anything on the black one over here. Yes. Yep. Go do other things. Okay. 14. That takes care of that. I do a little wrap around and finish right here to smack blue out and then set again. Correct? I think I'm understanding that right. Yeah. I do a little wrap around. Let me just see... Oh, God. Yeah, okay. And then blue's over here. I'm gonna have to smack blue anyway, but now I fear if I have enough to actually swing the cap. Do I have enough? I don't think so. I think I try anyway? I opened up an 11. How do I want to do this? Yeah, that's fine. Blue's 19, that sucks. Okay, let's deal with blue now. I do have back-to-back -back set. Pink might come looking now. I fortified 20 away, so they're at least curious, right? I would be. No, you want to deal with black? That's pretty smart. Um, but now I have a kill guard on black. So that's great. So maybe maybe you kill green. How I need to see more attacking. You don't attack anymore. Darn. Hmm. I'll know, I'll know for sure whenever we see how much black starts with and what happens with this one up here. Okay, come looking. And then fail the roll. Not nearly a good enough roll. Ooh, you're getting perfect dice. That is scary. Hold on. Oh, you're getting perfect dice. Okay. Thank you. I need you to lose one more troop. Shit, you got perfect ice. Yep, there we go. Okay, you understand. Okay. I think I need to deal with blue next. I gotta deal with blue. Um, I set and then kill blue, I think, off of my 20. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to kill blue, actually. I'm, I'm crunching the numbers here. 
You know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to use my 10 to kill blue. So I'm going to have to go fr from my 20 soul hall, go up and through, and then send my 10 over. And my 20 is going to wrap around and finish over here. And then pop, pop. I'm going to need, I'm going to need every bit of my troops, I think, because blue fortified like a 20 back. And I'm going to set and I'm going to get a 50. So I, I, I need every troop I can get. If I get a bad roll, blue can set and then totally just wipe me out. And then if the other players on the left side of the board decide to team up with blue, it's very bad for me. So worst case scenario, this can be quite bad for me. But if I use every bit of the troops, well, hold on, because I'm, I'm also, I'm not really considering my starting bonus of 20 troops either. I think, I think I'm good. I just need to put most of it. Yeah, I know how to do this. And, and my cap down here is way less valuable because everybody else is going to push through from up here on this 20 cap. And then they might just like go looking up here as soon as, you know, it's, it's less likely for somebody to run into my cap on floating blades. So, hmm. Okay, are we seeing black bot? What did you start with? Three. This is the black player's final position. Let me start by killing black. Yep, that's your final position. Cool. That should be good enough. I am going to go ahead and set. Just in case everything else goes here. Okay, snowball season. It is snowball season. Very snowy. We're up in the mountains right now, on the labyrinth, uh, and we're gonna do it like this. Little wrap around. Shit. Ooh, it's tight. How much do you have back here? Do you have like a three back here? Okay, nice. Fuck. What am I up against? Let's just, let's just, dude, we're sending it right now. Holy shit, we're sending it. God, these fucking pockets. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, we get that done. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't have a back-to-back -back set if I do it like that, so... Shit. Or did I? I don't know. I'm tripping. Okay. Let's just do this. Let the others fight and just let me let me live. So this cap basically protects this cap. So that's really the only one that matters, right? And then I bet I guess I just get rid of this seven. Bring this seven up. If somebody really wants to come looking and if they dare, if they dare touch my diamond, if they dare touch Dexter's diamond, they die. Okay, I have a guaranteed set. Who wants to mess with the diamond hunter? I'm not going to lie, guys. This is my first attempt. <laughs> my first attempt. I, on my last video, I was like, we're going to give it a try. We're going to hunt the diamond. And here I am. And I'm just like getting it on my first try. It's actually blowing my mind a little bit. Okay. I think maybe for our next challenge, <laughs> we do uh, the Giga Chad uh, triangle. Yeah. That sounds like fun. Oh, did you bot? Oh. Is it me versus green? Green has a set, punches me, I cry. Maybe? Green has a set, kills pink, punches me, I cry. No? No set on four is quite bad for you, my friend, because now I kill pink. Ooh, quite bad for you, quite bad. Okay. Okay, so now I kill pink, I'm laughing. And then I think I just kill... How much do you have on your cap? Ooh. I'll do a little wrap around. Maybe pink failed to kill. I wonder what happened there. The hitboxes right over here are broken. So I'm being very careful. LOL. Okay. Uh, that doesn't set me. But it does card block green, which is like equally funny. Um, but I think I can just end it right here, folks. I'm not going to be able to get the Capital Conquest, or I'm not going to be able to get the World Dom and the Capital Conquest victory at the same time. That is a good game. That is a well-played... Oh, it's a Robo Love in the Diamond Challenge. Oh my goodness gracious. We got to step it up, you guys. Oh my God. Go back and watch our Trigon's Labyrinth videos. They are all bangers. And this one is no exception, man. Oh, I love this map. I, I don't, I don't want to say yet that it's my favorite map in all of Risk. But man, it's definitely top two at this point. 
defeating let's see uh three intermediates and two experts oh my goodness gracious more trigons labyrinth is on the way we're gonna step it up and try to take on some even more challenges and i'll see you guys on the next one